Hello all, right, today I'm going to be looking at the uh, Two Go Grill Thermometer, digital wireless -ish thermometer, so it's compatible with a lot of uh, grills there, Kamado grills, which is that one there, I'm going to be uh, changing my old trusty one, you can download the apps on it, so yeah, that's how it looks, let's take a look inside. Obviously we get the user manual, we're going to have a look at that quickly. So what's inside the box? Inside the box you get the thermometer straight away. Hmm. Okay. A very large thermometer, it's very big. Okay, what else is in the box? So you are you get two probes, batteries included. So, okay, let's take a look. So, basically, you get meat probes together, two of them, battery life, battery life about five to six hundred hours, and then two little batteries. Hmm. Okay, we'll see, we'll test. Smart boy because the one with the meat probes. Pretty standard meat probes. Pretty nice, looks solid. Let's take the batteries out. Whoop. So, I'm guessing to put the batteries on without looking in the user manual, twist it off, comes off. So, let's give me old trusty Leatherman. I might need to change the tip on that. Put the batteries in. To be honest, the batteries, I do like the batteries because with this sort of thermometer, let's say you forgot to charge it and you're in process, you're cooking, you're smoking your meat and the thing dies, you just quickly get your two double O batteries, change them and basically that's, that's, that's going to be it, quickly nice and quick change. So, right, doesn't work like that, it just basically shows the screen. I'm guessing if we put this on there somehow. There you go, that's on. So now it's registered. So, there you go, the current temperature outside is 13 degrees Celsius. Shows the current, which is ambient temperature for the grill. So, let's test it out. I'm going to put my fingers on. There you go, the temperature is rising, that means it's working. So, you also get this probe, so you've got, you can connect one, two, three, up to four probes and all that. So if you're cooking a lot of meats, large meats, you might want to use more than one, two, but usually I find myself using, there's enough more than, two is more than enough. So, let's take a look at this. The only thing is, it could have made this wireless. Basically, then you could talk to it. But, anyways, let's test it out first, outside. So, if I put, plug this in. There you go, current temperature, number one probe. They just come through, so. As you can see, it's flicking through. Not sure if you can see that. There you go. You can see it now. So the probe one showing 14 degrees. Probably is aligning together and current A being 14 degrees. So they are working together. So if I'm holding in my fingers, the current temperature on the probe is coming up. So yeah, it's quite nice. It's got a backlight for the. Uh, night times so without going into much settings I think I need to download the app to set it up so, yeah. also the unlock lock medium so install the probes 
Yeah, so what I'm going to do, after I'm finished with my grill, because at the moment it's running hot, I'm going to test this out on the grill. See the fitment, see how it looks. And basically, yeah, I'm going to cook with it. See how long the battery lasts, how it performs, and the performance on the, the actual app. So, he hasn't got a Wi Fi, he's got a Bluetooth, so he's got a range, which is, would have been nice. Hopefully, they will upgrade into the Wi Fi one, not just Bluetooth range. Anyway, it looks nice, it looks sturdy. So, and to be honest, if it died, your battery's died as well. Quick, easy change. Look. There you go. Ah, oh, I just found out. We actually, if you're using basically not using the ambient temperature, it actually still works with the probe. Which is actually, if you're going somewhere, going outside, outdoors, you can just take this with you and use as a meat probe thermometer for long cooks. So, yeah. Let's wait for the uh, next step, me trying out. Right, so let's put this on. Right, put the moment to on. So, what you want to do first of all, take out the main case, open your lid, take off the uh, old thermometer, undo the uh, wing nut this is how it's going to go so go like this wing washer and wing nut and tightly on so as you have a base mounted take the actual thermometer put it into place and turn it on so the ambient temperature should come up first. It says 19 degrees inside the grill. So, yeah, let's fire this baby up and test it out. Let's get the uh, thermometer and the grill up to temp. You try the probes and the durations while I'm cooking. Right, so I want to connect my new thermometer to the app. So, what we do, go onto the app. It actually requires me to scan the barcode of the app. So, what we want to do, take off the thermometer, and there's a device activation barcode. So, what we don't do, go OK, allow, allow, and let it scan. No. Select the device. What we want to do, put that back on. Right, so I'll press device button to pair. I'm guessing just one. Right, probe not detected. So the ambient temperature at the moment is 120. So, which is good. That's sinking okay. You can see that, yes. Yeah, pretty good. Change, change. So right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my the meat in. The one I'm cooking today. I'm cooking a large pork loin on pretty low temperatures, 120, 130 degrees. Put the meat in first. Have a look at the probe. So, nice little probe. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right at the back, all the way in, and then we're going to test out how it's going to connect. So, I'm going to use number one underneath, and that should pick up a meat temperature. So, the probe current temp actually pretty low. Let's have a look. So, setups, pork. Right, so I'm going sort of well done. So start cooking. Let's have a look what else it can do. 
by pressing the temperature history so we'll have a look at that later let's see you in a few hours i'm going to put the timer on now as well just to see how much the battery uh lasted and if there's uh, anything dropped down oh also i can set up ambient temperature so basically if i don't want to go over certain degrees that will notify me so i'm going to go for 130 my target is 120 to cook at press that and that should alarm me so yeah basically the uh the setup on the app was pretty easy there's barcodes there and it looks like it's a pretty simple app so yeah so far i'm happy with it and we've got a nice temperatures rising up so i'm actually cooking at a higher than anticipated temperature but let's have a look inside so there you go temperature history well you can see where we've opened up the grill has gone down quickly so we can have a quick peek the battery hasn't dropped down yet looking good would be nice if that could display all the temperatures it's not switching too many times because there is a big enough screen there to actually do it so but at the moment i'm still happy right i've got notifications coming through telling me that it's been cooked right so the pork is done right so i've got notifications so if i'm sitting indoors that's pretty good kernel temperature of a meter 72 which is good so the time it took to cook that was two hours and 14 minutes so the battery hasn't gone down at all so as the meat's cooked beautiful isn't it yeah i'm actually very happy with this thermometer yeah so it was a very pleasant cook with that so i quite like it so i think i'm gonna give that a thumbs up to this thermometer i will be definitely using that for the future cooks and maybe more testing so if you watch this video everyone so please don't forget to uh click that subscribe button also like the video let me know what you think and i will put some links down below where to purchase this two grill thermometer thumbs up again peace out don't you run away. We're going to cut into this meat as well. Look at that juiciness. I want to taste some. Look at that juiciness. Perfectly cooked. Mm. That's it. Bye.